So currently, inspection activities on assets in the offshore environment are carried out by the human workforce or traditional robots, but these don't address the issues of inaccessibility and areas that are hard to access on these assets. Back at the inception of the National Robotarium, Sinai Symatec, a technological institute in Brazil, approached us with a few problems that they had identified in industry um, that they wanted to try and solve. A couple of the problem areas that they identified was contact inspection of subsea pipelines, as well as accessing cluttered environments on offshore oil rigs. So the project with Sinai Symatec was really successful. It was delivered on time, it delivered the product that was expected, and it was delivered within budget. So I think that shows that at the National Robotarium we're very much focused on making sure we do a professional job with our partners in delivering the projects that they do with us. Senai Symatec approached the National Robotarium from an existing relationship with Harriet Watt University and the University of Edinburgh. They had identified a skills gap in their knowledge about soft robotics and with our engineers who specialise in soft robotics they were able to gain some more knowledge and work with us to share skills and knowledge um, and ultimately fill that gap. The main goal of the project or the challenge was that we would develop a prototype and Sinai Symatec would develop a prototype side by side with that constant two-way transfer of knowledge throughout the project. So they have a lot of background um, working with industry as well as solving industrial problems, so standards, practices, things like that. Whereas the team here at the National Robotarium, so myself, Alex, Xing Yu, as well as Francesco over at the University of Edinburgh, we have a lot of background in research related to soft robotics. One of our top level aims for National Robotarium is to collaborate internationally and to try and develop robotics in a way that it benefits as many people as possible. So working on the project with Sinai was really a great opportunity to do that uh, and it brought together a number of the things that we are very proud of having created in the last couple of years since we've been operating which include for example bringing the pool from UK research and the experience and knowledge from there combining that with the team that we have at the National Robotarium and their engineering expertise. Our sort of ambition or my hope for the project is that in a few years time after they've had a chance to develop it more closely with industry we'll start seeing it being applied um, in real situations and real scenarios um, for inspection tasks maybe adding it to a vehicle that goes subsea and performs some inspection that would be really cool to see I think. The National Robotarium is really at the centre of this kind of thing. What we've been trying to do is to improve the amount of robotics and the types of robotics research and uh, product development etc that's happening in the UK and getting involved in these kind of collaborations whether they're international or otherwise means that we can bring together the unique set of skills that we've got. Being able to use the facilities that we've got like the Ocean Systems Lab here to be able to design then manufacture and test. So bringing things from initial concept through to proof of concept is one of the big things that we try to do. So the real benefit that we, we bring in projects like this is to be able to offer industry partners a way to explore and develop new robotic solutions and also adopt existing robotic solutions in a lower risk, lower cost uh, and quicker way than they could do on their own.